One thing I like about it though is if you're trying to get the end of the ketchup out, it's going to be easy. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, and I never mentioned, I said Guy Gone Keto. This is ketchup. It's in this very thick plastic bag and I'm, I'm on the fence about that. It feels like it could get stabbed and leaky really easily. Yeah, it could. I might be wrong, but that's just how it feels. And the top wibble wobbles and that. You might want to check though because um, it, yep, you got to open okay. it from there. Okay, so so this is all a bit, I don't know, this is a little bit weird for me, but anyway, hold your spoon. I'm holding my spoon. Hold your spoon, Mr. Parker. <laughs> Her aim is horrible. It's okay though, because I'm a girl. Okay. Yeah. You want more than that? Um. Yeah. Any Oakley, she has not. Oh, don't, don't, don't know. Go on believing with, that, and you might the, end up with a hole somewhere you don't want it. With the ketchup bottle. With the gear. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. She's scaring me. Eat the ketchup. You eat the ketchup. Well, I can't because you need to squirt some onto my spoon. So I'm going to read the ingredients while you're savouring that. Water, tomato paste, white distilled vinegar, MCT, oil, keto sweet, which is allulose, monk fruit, stevia, spice, less than 2% of sea salt, locust bean gum, and citric acid, giving you per serving size, which is one teaspoon. There are 30 teaspoons in this strange plastic bag. Total fat, 1.5 grams. Total carbs, 1 gram. And that's it. So it's got about the same carbs as everything else. Um, I will hold my spoon. Alrighty. Let's see if I can do this without... Hey, You're there we go. You're a star. So I just tasted mine, and it tastes to me like a very tangy tomato soup. Yes, um, it, exactly. It, Spot on, it, uh, sir. I really like it doesn't taste like a typical ketchup that I would really you know have like I've it's tried very tangy it is very tangy it has a, is a very tart tangy kind it of taste it does say sweet and tangy so if you like sweet and tangy that is exactly right yeah. it is sweet and it is tangy it's I've, almost it's almost more barbecue sauce yeah it, it really is um and honestly even the barbecue sauce side of things too it, it wouldn't quite make it there it definitely I mean, it's not a bad flavor. No, it's but, not at all. It's just but, not tomato ketchup. Yeah, it just, uh, yeah, exactly. It doesn't really exactly taste like tomato ketchup. This is lovely. It's really awesome. It's awesome as a sauce. It's a little bit runny, runnier than I might like. That could be very but slippery you know and, what? If and you messy were, on burgers. If you were to make but, a keto uh, uh, meatloaf, I think this would be really nice mm -hmm. in there or something along that nature. However... So it's a lovely product. This is growing on me. It's got a fantastic flavor, but it isn't ketchup as you know it. So if you're looking for a ketchup replacement, this isn't it, but it is a very delicious, sweet and tangy tomato sauce. Yeah. Alrighty. All right, thank you. Guy Don Keto, good job. When you, when you go to run the bar, you can do that. I, I probably should, huh? Yeah. Someone's oh. gonna end up in the, in the ketchup. Probably me. In the soup. Alright, I'm pressing the button. <laughs> 